afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. Today for you, I've got a very special unboxing. It is the Ayo Shen by Master Grade Knives. It is the 240 millimeter chef's knife uh, or the nine and a half inch chef's knife. Uh, it is a Gyoto style. Um, it uses the Erdon uh, steel, I believe. And we've got a Rockwell 10, it's three layers. So we've got Rockwell 10 on the outsides and a Rockwell 62 on the inside. Um, again, with all these knives, you wanna make sure that you um, wash them and dry them immediately after uh, you use, just to maintain the life. So they come packaged in a plastic sleeve with a nice piece of foam. Uh, cut out and a tip protector. So uh, this has the Tai Tang uh, handle. This kind of has more, uh, it's a Gyoto style, but it has sort of a Sentoku style uh, uh, end to it. Um, it's a much thicker handle. It's a flat handle, the Tai Tang rounded on top. The spine is semi rounded. It still has sharp edges on the uh, left and right. Not a big deal. And we have a rounded uh, almost a Kramer-esque style uh, choil and heel. Um, we have the groove cut out for the pinky and when we rock we see that we at least get with my thick fingers I get some good clearance here uh, but it does over it does promote over rotation or over rocking uh, because of the roundness in that heel and uh, we don't have a very long straight edge on it as you can see, uh, hopefully you can see, there is quite a bit of curvature to this knife. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the weight of this knife in grams. We're looking at 260, two hundred and sixty-seven grams uh, for this uh, Gyoto style. Chef's knife. Pretty common for a uh, nine inch or nine and a half inch. It's a little bit longer than an eight inch, so we got a little bit more steel to work with. Um, again, eight inch is probably the more common uh, length, but not bad. So the etching itself, uh, you can feel it is raised. So there is texture there. The other side is completely clean with just the polishing marks from uh, the factory. It uh, has that unique style Tai Tang uh, Tang, which uh, is embedded into the handles themselves and they feel like a more of a polymer uh, Delrin style uh, uh, handles. Or maybe Ebonite, I'm not sure. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the, uh, in the comments. So let's go ahead and check out the initial out of box sharpness on this knife. Feels very clean, very smooth. Oh, let's try that balance. So it is handle heavy, guys. Uh, just so you know, it is not necessarily kind of right on the edge of that bolster, or right on, yeah. Definitely right on the edge of that bolster. Um, so you've got at least maybe half an inch between the bolster and the blade. That's why I say it's handle heavy, and you can definitely feel that the bulk of the weight uh, from balance is here, okay? Not necessarily a bad thing, not necessarily a good thing. Uh, the main thing is that you feel comfortable, you have preference towards the balance. So wherever you prefer the balance point to be uh, is going to impact your use of the knife. Uh, if you prefer uh, knives that have a heavier handle, then this will probably fit right in with your needs. If you prefer to have more weight towards the tips, uh, then uh, this knife may not feel as comfortable to you, okay? So slicing through, very, very sharp um, from factory. Just do some quick cuts here. And let's see. You can see the uh, shine a little bit thick on that one. Who cares? It works. <laughs> this is where it matters. Yes, and that feels phenomenal. Uh, again, it is a 62 hardness with 10. Uh, two layers of 10 sandwiched on both sides, one and one. Uh, so it shouldn't be too difficult to sharpen. Um, feels comfortable. I like the weight, especially towards the heel. 
can definitely cut into it pretty easily. Um, I've had, you know, one of the, or the Nikiri that I had didn't have that great of an edge on it, but it also had been open prior, so I don't know the history of that knife and why it was open, but uh, in this case, uh, this knife had not been opened prior, or at least the tape hadn't been removed, so it appears that it's not been opened. Um, and it feels really good. The edge feels nice. Okay, just doing some small dice in here. Can't see what I'm doing though. Okay, so we get a little bit of cut there. It's a very ripe tomato. So we get a little bit of a little bit of uh, of a struggle near that tip, but I'm not putting any additional weight uh, on it. Let's go ahead and get into some potato cutting. There we go. Right. Nice long length. Uh, I really enjoy the nice long length uh, in terms of the blade, uh, just because I get a lot of um, a lot of real estate in my cut. Uh, again, not necessary. If you have a sharp edge, you can easily put down, push down. Um, but in this case, it feels really good. Uh, if you want to do long cuts, it has a very good rock in it. Um, so the motion feels really nice, uh, depending on whatever the style of cut that you're doing. Uh, let's say we wanted to do some dicing here. It feels really good out of the, out of the box. Okay. pinch grip and as you can see I'm pinched way up uh, the <laughs> this the handle doesn't even bot you know I don't even come into contact with it it comes more into contact with my wrist as I'm cutting down so you might see that happen more so depending on the length of the handle and the length of or the size of your wrist or your hands uh, you might run into some of that and that's something that you have to consider uh, whenever you're cutting down. Again, I am sitting, so it doesn't really reflect how I normally would use this knife. At standing, my wrist is gonna be more cocked up in the air, so I'm not gonna have this impact of me trying to cut uh, from the same height. All right, well, this has been the IO Shen. Uh, it feels like a very good knife so far. I'll use this one again for four months or plus. My Four month reviews have been taking quite a bit of time with all the unboxings that I've been doing uh, and other things, but uh, I will try to get this done in four months. I'll use this one uh, quite frequently in my kitchen and then uh, we'll let you know how the edge maintains uh, over time and if there's any sort of pitting or rust or any kind of uh, changes that happen to this metal. Uh, again, I don't use them in the dishwasher. I will wash these by hand and then hang them up so uh, for the most part, they should last uh, me for quite a while. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, and stay tuned for the next one.